My name is Anna Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can split a string. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. With that said, let's get started. So we have a string here uh, with some actors in it's five of them and it's uh, separated by semicolons. And we want to have uh, split the string so we got each name out. Let's fix that. First we need to uh, close this down. We're not going to use the uh, open file anymore. So we want to, um, first we want to use a package so we will uh, click manage packages and uh, mark all packages and then we need the workflow manager activities from Microsoft. Uh, it's here, workflow manager activities by Microsoft and it's installed here but make sure it's installed. Then uh, we will uh, have a read text file, drag this guy in, and I strongly encourage you to do the operations yourself because you will learn a lot from that. So we need a file name, and I placed mine on the desktop, a uh, new text document was it, and then we uh, will specify an output, so control K, str, output, so now we got our um, text variable here, you could also have just written it in yourself. And then we need to find uh, the split string, which came with the workflow manager activities. So drag in the split string. The input that will be the variable, um, the output variable, actually we should rename it to, uh, because it's actually input, uh, like this. So, um, we got the, the input in here and the result we will uh, have in an output variable, so str. Actually, it will be a list, so a list output, like this. And then the separator, we need to specify that we find the file here. Oh, it was semicolons. I can't really mark it now. However, it was semicolons like this. And uh, so this one will uh, split out uh, with the semicolons. And then we could uh, choose to um, write out, uh, this one will be a list with all the, the names in. And uh, we could choose to have a for each, because uh, now we want to write out this list. We can also see it here in the variables manager that this is a list of strings. So uh, then we will drag in a for each like this, and that will be the for each, for each item in the list output, and then we will change the type argument to string, delete this guy here, we can either choose to have a message box or just a right line, or we could use the output whatever we want, and this one will just be the item, like this, and now let's run it, that's it, let's go to output, and we can see that we now split it the string up. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. And by that, have a good day. Bye-bye.